Hey everyone, welcome to The Pit Stop. I'm your host, Raja, and we are here with my very special guest, Laganja Estranja. Yes, Ladies and God. gentlemen, iconic, superstar, dancer, acrobat, death dropper. These are some of the words that I would say about you, Laganja Estranja. What is going well, on? Well, thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. Yes, Coming yes, yes. from the fashion icon herself. Ooh, well, honey. you know, you know, from one icon to another. <laughs> one of the things that we really need to first talk about is this sort of pact that everyone made as far as elimination. Right, like and, how they were gonna vote. Right, and I think what, what they've all sort of decided on is that they were gonna go with basically what the judges' opinion, opinions were. So they were just gonna kind of go off that. Would you have followed those rules? I think for me, I would definitely have tried to stick to the pack mm -hmm. if we all agreed on that. Right. But personally, that isn't really how I would vote. Um, just because I understand that, you know, people can fall into their weakest moments on the show. You know, I definitely was privy to that. I think it should be more like overall. Mm -hmm. um, I think taking the judges' critiques into consideration, of course, you yeah. should. But um, I personally thought that was a little weird that they all agreed on that pact. Yeah. Talking about your mama. Uh-oh, here there we go. Yes, and you know, I personally, I just want to let the world know that I am one of the biggest Alyssa Edwards fans. I could spend hours and hours and hours with her and have, and just be and just enjoy her. Yeah. She's hysterically She's funny. a good time gal. Yeah. And uh, Fifi kind of had a problem with that. And I'm, that's just, I would be so happy to be around <laughs> Alyssa all the time, just letting her goof off. And she's your mother. Totally. I think that, you know, coming down on Alyssa was, was just kind of a little bit of a rain on the her parade moment. Yeah. You know, I think maybe Fifi was struggling with her own issues. And mm -hmm. instead of looking at herself, she, you know, took it out on someone else maybe. Yeah. But, um, but at the end of the day, Alyssa starts on 10. Okay, that's like her base, Ten? okay? Yes. 10 starts. is where she starts. starts. So, you know, and that's just who she is. She is so full of life yeah. and she loves drag more yes. than anyone I know. She, I mean, she loves it. And that's mm -hmm. why she gets up in that mirror for hours and hours and makes the faces and because she genuinely is enjoying what she does. Alyssa's very, very passionate. But so is <laughs> Fifi, you know? And, very. And it, it was, I was kind of like, when I started seeing the, the interviews with her and she's, you know, kind of talking about Alyssa, I was like, are we uh -oh. seeing the old Fifi? Uh -oh. I thought this was all about redemption. I thought right. you were going to be a different person this time, but right. you know, there was, there was moments. It touched on that a little bit, and that's what I kind of liked. Well, let's not judge the comic book by its cover. Oops. You know, let's, let's mm -hmm. see where it goes, but I will admit, I felt like that shade right? was rolling in. It was like a dark cloud. And then she got Ginger in. together, too. She said, oh, Ginger, that dress is real big. That dress is real big. <laughs> she was, she was egging her mm -hmm. on. So, but Strategies. again, again, exactly, competition game. So she just may be playing it different than, than somebody else. The category is, on this episode, history of the world, meaning iconic women throughout history and embodying them in a musical number. Which was fabulous. Whoosh, I mean, that hands is a lot. down to yeah. the girls. They yeah. killed it. I don't think in all of Drag Race Herstory uh -huh. that I've ever seen such a complete and well done performance as a collective, as a group. The yeah. whole thing was so well done and the way that the, each girl went into the other girl, it was so funny. Mm, and so those funny. choreographer boys, can we talk yes. about that? Oh, oh my God. The girls getting yaggy, they're, they're cute. I, I just wanted, I wanted them to speak sweet nothings in their Australian accent directly into my Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I'm not kidding, I meant that. Oh, okay. And don't you dare censor me on that, editors. Who did you think stuck out? Like, who stood out as one of the biggest, baddest contenders in this particular challenge? Um, honestly, Roxy st stood out for me. I really thought she was great as Ava Perone. It was really funny. I think Alyssa was amazing, mm -hmm. super over the top, hilarious as Perfect, always. Perfect, actually. Yeah. I loved every single moment of Alyssa. Go ahead. Yeah, she, she took Annie Oakley and turned it to the left. Now, Detox was my personal favorite just because I love Detox and her lip syncing style is really undeniably like the craziest and weirdest, but really cool. Yeah. So I really loved her. But let's let's talk about some of the weaker points. Uh, Katya, Katya was brought up as one of the weaker points. Yeah, um, I definitely, I, I think it was the look, you know? I think that that right away, it just like, it, it was a letdown in, in a sense, yeah. you know? I mean, since she cut the train off, I thought like, well, maybe she'll take that ex extra fabric and add it into the sleeves or add it somewhere, make, make a veil, you know? I just think there could have been maybe more to elevate that look. Yeah. And then that would have upped the ante a little bit. The runway. 
I gotta give applause. It was magical. It was. It was epic. Perfect. It was epic. Yes. Who was your favorite? Well, I am gonna go ahead and say Miss Fifi with the cosplay. She turned it down. Hands down. She turned it down. I mean, that gun alone was so fierce. I mean, it really says a lot about her imagination mm -hmm. and um, her ability to fabricate things. Totally. Like, all of them look great. They really did. One of my favorites was detoxes because it was kind of scaled back. Uh -huh. You know, everyone kind of wanted to go space age and futuristic by adding a lot more to their costumes, but right. detox simply painted herself silver, had that little Lilu outfit from Fifth Element, yeah. a little cool mask and the bald cap. So end of episode, Alyssa had a very difficult decision to make. She had to decide between Ginger and Katya, and she went against the pact, maybe, that we talked about. You know, do you think that that decision that she made was the right one? Well, at the end of the day, it was Alyssa's decision to make, mm -hmm. so I, it's not up to me whether it was the right or wrong one. Um, I definitely think she made the right choice for her. Like she said, she looked into their eyes and she saw the fight in Katya, so I have to trust her judgment on that. Um, as I said before, I think I would have done the same uh, just because, like I said, Katya was in the top last week and it just seemed unfair to me to send her home, mm -hmm. uh, even though she did have the weakest performance. Hmm. So I'm very interested to see how the other girls react to Alyssa's decision, because I have a feeling it's gonna get severe up in here. Severe! <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited. It's starting to get real juicy. Yeah. The web is starting to tangle within itself and I'm loving it. So the big, the big conversation that we've been having in these last few episodes is redemption. And I wanna know, who do you think on this episode was the biggest redemption moment? Well, I think as I said before, you know, Alyssa had come out on, the, on her season saying she wasn't an actress, she wasn't a singer, she wasn't a seamstress. But I know for a fact that when she went into the game this time, she was like, I'm not gonna say I'm not these things and I'm just gonna try and I'm gonna yeah. give it my best. So for me, this, this was a really big redemption for her because not only was she successful and won the challenge, you know, the judges even said you were a, you know, a scene stealer. I will agree with you. I think um, Alyssa was a, a great big redemption moment. I think it's fun to see her actually showcase her talents in that way. This ends our show today. This ends our time. And I want to say a very special thank you to Laganja Estranja for joining us here today. Aw, thank you for having me. You know I love spending time with you and Kiki and... and Shooting the shit, girl. Thank you so much for joining us this week. It's been really, really fun hanging out with Laganja. Tune in next week and see if the girls actually turn on Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.